uh, posted a video for uh, kitchenware and uh, candy bars, kitchenware and candy bars by Stone Temple Pilots, and I got a few, quite a few comments of uh, people asking me to uh, give them a link for the guitar tablature or uh, <coughs> the chords or simply to just show the fretboard <coughs> excuse me uh, next time I played it so I figured I'd go ahead and put a put together this little instructional video uh, please excuse me if it sucks because this is uh, my first uh, instructional video um, uh, it starts out with a verse and uh, you're gonna put uh, both fingers on the uh, fifth fret here, and that'll be um, the <coughs> A string and D string. And uh, with the uh, E string, you're going to uh, palm mute. And for those of you who do not know what a palm mute is, you're going to rest your palm right here, and just like that, just kind of mute it a little bit. And the rest of the strings, you'll strum normal. You're going to strum these. Next three strings here, and it creates an interesting little sound there. And uh, after that chord, you're gonna go and take this finger here and put it on the fourth fret on that D string. So this is the riff. that throughout the verse and uh, throughout uh, the bridge and over here during the course you're gonna start out with a with this chord um, sadly I can't even remember what it's called at the moment um, you're gonna put your uh, your pinky and your uh, ring finger down here at the bottom on the third fret on the B and high E string and then you're going to put your middle finger here on the third fret on your A string and your first finger here on the D string on the second fret. So the chord is going to look like this. And when the chorus first starts out it's a real slow strum and then it gets a little harder. And then you're going to move these fingers up here and down to that D and then back to that chord. So back into that verse it just goes and cuts that part off um, does that one more time and then goes back into the chorus and then um, after the chorus that second time um, it's gonna go and the next time you do the chorus when you come back to this chord you're just gonna strum it for a little while orchestra in the background is doing that whole thing, you know, I don't know what the chords for that are, um, if you want them, go look them up, but uh, I just strung this chord, because that's what they do, for a little while, and then he's going to say, you Back to the chorus again, 
and that next time after you do the course, then you want to, uh, that's where the solo comes in, and uh, normally for the solo you're going to want to have a second guitarist, uh, probably just improvise, um, since I only have myself playing guitar, um, what I do is I just basically play the verse riff, which is the rhythm part of the solo, and just play it a little harsher. And I tried kind of fiddling around with the, uh, uh, the harmonics, but um, the artificial harmonics, but it doesn't work out too well unless you unless you practice it for a while. And it's just kind of weird and kind of hard, but um, that always makes a really good and hard sound. And then finishes out with the with that last chord. Listen to the song for the, uh, you know, how it goes and, and uh, where to play the chords. And there you go.